What's up guys, Tyler here, and today we have something very special from Elementor. So I received an email this past week that talked all about how Elementor has now hit 4 million active installs, and that's super exciting because I feel like maybe to a tiny, small, teeny weeny degree, I may have impacted a few people to install Elementor. So that's super exciting because I absolutely love Elementor and I think it's a great plugin for WordPress. If you guys don't know, you can go and check back on my other videos talking all about what is Elementor and how to use it and how to implement it into your site. But essentially Elementor is just a plugin you add to WordPress which is kind of like an infrastructure on a website. So it's a plugin that you add in and you can just drag and drop and build websites. Super easy to use, super simple. They have a free version and a paid version, but it's just overall a great plugin. So in reading this email, it was super exciting to see that they finally hit 4 million active installs. They talk about how they're now ranked somewhere in the top 10 list of top 10 plugins for WordPress. And it's just overall a really exciting time for them. But the cool part is, is that they reached out to their audience and their users and they asked what features they would like to see coming up in their next launch and their next versions of Elementor. And the results came back with this. Dun, da, da, da. So as you read in their blog, you can see a lot of different features got a lot of different votes here. But what was the top ranked one is steps for forms. And honestly, I think this is a super awesome feature. And I think it's going to help a lot of people, especially as I've talked about in other videos, how we're somewhat replicating the ClickFunnels process. This is a super unique feature that ClickFunnels has that not a lot of websites have or not a lot of website builders have, but that's something that Elementor is going to start developing. Now, I think this is super exciting because as we read down here in their blog, it says that these multi-step forms are known to increase conversion rates and have a higher completion rate. So if you have forms on your website that you're trying to collect information, you know, and, and you have a lot of different steps in there, maybe you need, you know, name, um, birthday, address, all kinds of different information, and you have just field after field after field after field, it can be super intimidating to a user when they go to your page and they see it, they have to fill out this huge, like, you know, it's like all the paperwork that you have to do when you go into like a doctor's office, you're like, holy cow, this is before I can even get seen, there's like all these papers. So that can really intimidate users, especially when people just get to your website for the first time. However, if you have a multi-step form, that allows you to break these fields into different steps. So let's say you know you get to the website and to opt in for this, whatever your offer is, they just have to put in their name. Okay, they just put in their name. Okay, the next question is their birthday. Okay, they can do that, just put in their birthday. And then the next question is, okay, where, am I, where are you gonna ship it? Okay, their address. So that makes it a lot easier for the user and also it's just much less intimidating. And that's super nice because that helps your conversions, it helps your completion rate, and it's really gonna overall help your customer experience. So I'm super excited for this feature and there are two things to note. They haven't really mentioned a release date for this. They released quite a few features in 2019, but they haven't mentioned if this will be a 2020 launch or sometime in the future, but I would imagine sometime in the next year or so we'll see this feature come to fruition as well as they haven't also mentioned if this is going to be like for your element or basic user, which is your free user, or if it's going to be for your element or pro. And um, speaking of Elementor Pro, I've been using Elementor Pro a lot lately, uh, specifically to design one website in particular, and it's helped me so much. There are so many different elements in there that just make the whole design process so much simpler. And things that I don't even really think about until I'm scrolling through there and their list of different you know pro elements. And I'm like, wow, okay, I could add this here, add a little testimonial bubble, add different, you know, different Facebook things. And it's just the whole page just kind of comes together and there's a lot more variety to it. Um, I feel like when I'm designing pages using the Elementor Basic, it does, it works great and it does the job for sure. But I feel like the pro just adds that extra little schmoozy, shazaz, pajaz, shazam bling bling <laughs> so i did want to mention elementor pro because it really is a great tool and the price is absolutely right for it so be sure and check the links down below in the description i have links to elementor pro 
as I am an affiliate for them because I s certainly and just truly believe in the product and think that Elementor's got great potential when it comes to website building and website design. Like I mentioned a little bit earlier, a few of the things that they did launch in 2019 are these right here on their blog. They have the pop-up builder, motion effects, hello theme, monthly template kit, table of contents, advanced query control, icon library, pro gallery, color picker, and the notorious dark mode. <laughs> so I do just want to mention one thing about the pop-up builder. The pop-up builder has been such an awesome tool. This is an Elementor Pro only feature, but this tool has been absolutely incredible. I've used, oh, I don't even know, probably like five or six pop-up builders on WordPress before, just different plugins, trying, editing, altering, having to edit like pretty much a lot of their main like structure and framework through CSS code or styling code. It's been like an absolute pain. So when I actually found out that Elementor had their own pop-up builder and this was just released not that long ago, um, I started using that and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much easier. So the two things I really like about it is one, there's rules. So like there's all kinds of different rules, when to show the pop-up, when not to show the pop-up, how long to show it for, what to do on exit intent, meaning like if the user's moving their mouse, like they're gonna go back like to the previous page or if they're gonna exit the window, then Elementor triggers something to happen. The, just tons of great, options and features and rules that you can establish for this pop-up but then not only that is the design is just so easy just I mean just incredible I literally all I did was just drag and drop a title drag and drop a video like a YouTube video and dropped it right in and then you know you can add like a MailChimp um, like embedded opt-in form right at the bottom and and that's pretty much it I mean just like that you have like a video pop-up with a with a opt-in and it's like holy cow that took me like 10 seconds to do so that's really cool I also integrated Wistia if you guys have ever heard of Wistia um, Wistia is like a video platform where you upload a video and you can actually do which is actually super cool um, play part of a video and then pause it and collect an email address and then resume the video um, and you can force that to like be required to collect the email address meaning they can't finish the video if they if they don't put in their email address or just continue on you know as an option to collect email addresses so that works great for a pop-up too if it, they like get it popped up with you know here's a video right here ready to be played and it's all about you know something that they're interested in and they start playing it for like you know 20 seconds and they're like oh this is awesome and then all of a sudden a little pop-up says hey to finish the video you know give us your email address and we'll keep you informed about all these type of products like how awesome is that so super easy super super easy it integrated I literally just dragged an embed code from Wistia added you know a title and a button with Elementor and that was it it, it was just so simple so if you guys are looking for a pop-up builder um, definitely check out Elementor Pro like I said the links down below in the description but not just that I mean honestly a good pop-up builder is probably gonna cost you around the same amount that Elementor Pro does for the year so <laughs> It's your choice, but all right guys So that's all I have for you about this brand new feature that was just announced by Elementor the multi-step form Like I said and like we read in this blog I believe this feature is really going to increase conversion rates as well as completion rates on our forms So that's super exciting for us as Elementor and web designers in general so be sure and check out the link down below if you think Elementor Pro and that pop-up builder or any of the other features that Elementor Pro has could benefit you and your website. And be sure and like this video and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And we will catch you guys on the next video.